So if you're getting a 4350 or 4250 error code on your Mitsubishi City Multi Systems, what you're gonna to wanna to do is first, you wanna start the system, reset your system as it starts up. Check your amperage draw. You see right here, this is the amperage draw my meter. It records it and it holds it, it held it. It was 5.8 amps, that's rather high. The next thing you wanna to wanna to do is remove your, your compressor leads like you see here. And while this thing tries to start up, the fan will go all the way up, rumps all the way up, not all the way up, but you know, reasonably up, and you will get output from your inverter boards across all three phases. It will slowly rise, and you can measure it, right? The voltage scale. Additionally, you wanna to wanna to put OMO to compressor to ground, either using your regular ohm meter. If that passes, then you're gonna to wanna, to, um, you see this is no good, that's 13 ohms, that's no good. Then you're gonna, are you gonna to wanna to use your mega ohm meter? Now, um, when the compressor is grounded and, and you turn the system on, it will, th it will try three, four times, three to four times before it gives you that 4350, 4250 error code. Now, during that time, the fan wouldn't even ramp up. It would just like try to start and immediately stop. So when you pull the wires off, like you see here, then it will actually stay on for longer or long enough. It gives you about 10 seconds so you could check if your inverter is putting out. But in this case, clearly you could see my compressor is grounded. I'm getting um, 13 ohms to ground. And then we'll see if this thing is gonna start back up. So I'm going right here, it's just ground. So here you go, it's gonna start up. I'm gonna go to voltage real quick. And I'm gonna check the voltage real quick right here across 20 lines. Come on, real quickly. Okay, so I'm there. You can see, getting voltage. My inverter is working. And you have enough time to go across all three pairs. And you can see the fan is ramping up. It's trying to ramp up, but it ain't ramping up because it's disconnected. Gotta be real careful here. All right. So I'm up to 116 volts. All right, so yeah, so you do it. Pretty easy, guys. A bad compressor here.